Singapore's aviation industry is set for a boost with fresh funding injected into a lab that aims to build and maintain aircraft more efficiently. Singapore Aero Engine Services, or CEZEL, together with Rolls-Royce and Research Institute ASTAR, will enhance their existing partnership and tap on innovation to boost productivity. Nashra Rohim with this report. Over 20% of the world's Rolls-Royce Trent engines pass through this facility before going on to propel aircrafts from Airbus and Boeing. Now this space is about to get a major upgrade with an additional 34 million Singapore dollars boost to test bit new technology. This product behind me comes from a joint lab between Asia, Sazel and Rolls-Royce. The robotic arm uses artificial intelligence to inspect the engine parts. Now this cuts the manual inspection time and frees up workers to do more highly skilled jobs. This means the facility can service 40% more engines every year from 2028. Some 500 new high-skilled professional roles are also expected to be created, with training given to current employees to pick up new skills. The development of our process and our technology, this gives a lot of job opportunities, not just for myself, but also for my fellow engineers and any young engineers to be. Um, I feel like with everything that's going on, this allows me the opportunity to look at other sectors as well, uh, be it engineering or non-engineering, to better apply my skill set uh, and also advance my skill set. Speaking at the groundbreaking ceremony, Deputy Prime Minister and Trade and Industry Minister Gan Kim Yong says firms are primed to gain from a growing aerospace industry. The market leadership that Singapore has established puts us in a strong position to capture the projected growth of the global aerospace industry as more planes take to the skies with the rising demand of air travel. We will help companies in Singapore to expand their capacity, build new capabilities and forge new partnerships to capture the opportunities arising from this growth. What Market Watcher says, the increased demand will likely come from older aircrafts which require more maintenance. While the current fleet has gone back to the pre-pandemic levels, uh, the production of aircraft has not achieved pre-production levels yet. Um, and not very recently, um, the Boeing uh, strikes, of course, did not help that situation. Uh, so we are only expecting production rates to go back to uh, pre-pandemic -pre levels only in 26 or 27. Um, so that's in two more years. With the Sazel facility also set to be completed in 2027, he adds that it will further cement Singapore's status as a hub for aviation maintenance, repair and overhaul services.